Mining Ethereum Classic through F2 Pool. F2 Pool is the largest mining pool in Ethereum Classic ETC and the third largest in Bitcoin BTC. As such, we find it necessary to produce this guide to explain how to start mining ETC through this pool. In this post, we will explain how to get started with the first steps, how to start mining ETC by configuring your miner to point it to F2 Pool, and how to check your mining statistics. 1. Make sure you have the right mining gear. We have been using ASIC miners to create these guides to mine ETC. ASICs are the most competitive gear to stay ahead in this highly competitive market. The three mining hardware brands we cover for now are Bitmain's Antminer, iPolo and soon we will produce guides for Jazzminer ETC miner. For this, ETC miners. For this guide, we decided to use the iPolo V1 Mini SE Plus. This machine uses the ETC hash mining algorithm, has a mining hash rate capacity of 280 mega hashes per second, and you can connect to it over Wi-Fi to configure it. In the following sections, we will explain how to set up your iPolo to mine through F2 pool. Two, get an ETC account. To start mining through F2 Pool, you will need an ETC address so they may send you your earnings. F2 Pool pays miners every day provided they have a 0.1 ETC balance or more. The wallets you may use that we have covered which support ETC are Metamask, Trust Wallet, Ledger Nano S, MyCrypto, MyEther Wallet and Exodus. For this guide, we decided to use our Metamask Wallet and use our address there. 3. Open an account on F2 Pool. The next step is to open an account on F2 Pool. For this, go to https colon forward slash forward slash f2 pool.com forward slash user forward slash sign up. The process to create an account does not require that you verify your address or identification, but is but it is very strict in terms of security. We had to enter our email, then verify it, then open the account and had to receive more verification codes by email. We also had to enter our cell phone number and verify more things through it. And finally, they also required that we establish two-factor authentication. Four, four, add your ETC address to F2 pool. Once your account is open, you need to add your ETC address to your F2 pool profile so they pay you, as we said before. For this, first select ETC as the coin you are mining by selecting it from the coins drop down menu on the top right of the screen. After this, click on the username and, and then select account settings. In the next screen, you will see your username on the right and on the right, a link to payouts settings. Click there. In the next screen, click on plus add ETC address and add your address there. Then press OK. 5. Add F2 Pool settings to your miner and start mining. Now that you have your F2 Pool account created and ready, the next step is to configure your miner to start mining ETC through this pool. The data that you need is the following. Pool URL, which is this URL, user and worker, which the format is account name dot worker name and password, which is a, a password of your choice. To, to configure our iPolo, we went to configuration to the configuration tab on the left hand menu of the iPolo interface and we selected ETC hash as the mining algorithm. Then we entered the pool URL, the worker and the password that we made up, which is one, two, three. Our worker is Donald 1968.11 because Donald 1968 is our account ID on F2 pool and 11 is just an arbitrary number we use to identify this machine. To start mining, press save and apply below. 6. Check your mining statistics. Now that your F2 pool account and your ASIC miner are configured and connected, and mining has started, you will need to wait a few minutes for them to communicate and synchronize and for the work to be, to be transferred from your miner to the pool. 
When some time has passed, you will notice on your minor dashboard that the hash rate directed to F2 pool will increase and the work will start to be transferred to the pool. For example, in our case, you may see in the image that the hash rate dedicated to F2 pool is more than 435 mega hashes per second. We don't know why this product produces such consistent high hash rates, hash rate if it is specified to produce 280 mega hashes per second as per the manufacturer's specifications. If you go to your account on F2 pool again, you should see your ETC dashboard and if you click on the worker tab, the work should be reflected in the hash rate chart and the worker should be identified below. If you click on the revenue tab, then you will see your financial statistics with a total income, total payout, yesterday's revenue and today's estimated revenue metrics. As time passes by, you will see your earnings here and you will be able to withdraw your ETC balances whenever you wish as long as you have an, a minimum as long as you have a minimum available to withdraw of 0.1 ETC. We, we wish you a happy ETC mining. Thank you for watching this Ethereum Classic video. To learn more about ETC, go to ethereumclassic.org. Thank you very much.